happy to have you here at the premiere of Frank and Penelope. Would you like to tell us about your role in this film? Sure. I, I play the role of Cleve, who is, uh, he, he works at the motel and he drives the tow truck and um, in terms of the, the, the family dynamic, he's sort of the, the, the do-it-all kind of odd job kind of guy. Um, so he gets a lot of the dirty jobs around, around the camp, but uh, he also is one of the ones with a, a true kind of moral compass, kind of uh, keeps the film grounded, I think, in, in making, making good decisions from his heart, at least as much as he can. Yeah. And what does this movie remind you of? From, from the beginning, I think we knew that this movie was a, a, a mashup. I, when I explained it to people, I always said it's uh, like true romance meets the hills have eyes. So uh, in a fun way, it's sort of two movies. You know, the first half is sort of that, that romantic uh, traditional love story, it's e even with the way it's shot, very kind of soft focus, very beautiful, hazy, romantic, uh, you know, settings. And then when, when our storyline kind of picks up, things get very stark and very gritty and very kind of raw. And so, I, like I said, I think it's a true mashup of, of those two genres and, and specifically those two films. And when preparing for, to, for your role, mm -hmm. what do you usually do? Like, uh, how do you get inspired? Usually, uh, I, I kind of find it all on the page. Um, Sean did a great job of writing a, a really kind of detailed character that, that gave a lot of information. Um, some of the earliest things you learn in, in acting school is, is kind of do the work that's, that's in front of you. So that a lot of the clues and a lot of the kind of indications of what kind of character Cleve would be were, were there on the page. So um, for me, it's kind of an instinctual thing. When I, when I first read it, kind of the, my initial reaction is, is a lot of times what I'll end up going with. So Cleve was pretty, pretty fully formed after the first couple of read-throughs. And I didn't have to change too much. Sean let me kind of do my own thing, didn't give a, a ton of direction. He said, as long as it's honest, as long as it's true, I'll, I'll believe it. And hopefully, hopefully I achieve that. And I heard that uh, you stopped shooting for three days due to the weather. Well, I don't know if it was three days consecutively, but over the course of, we were in monsoon season in West Texas, so we'd, we'd have beautiful sunny days, and then 20 miles on the horizon, you would see this giant thundercloud come in, and then we'd be washed out by torrential rains for an hour. And then it'd be gone just as quick as it got there. So we, we definitely did have to, um, to shut down a number of times. Sometimes it was so hot, we were in 115 degrees sometimes. So it, it was it was harrowing to say the least, but I think it, it helped the picture. I think it you can see it on screen. And what were you doing during like when you were not shooting? What did you do? If I was on set, uh, believe it or not, I had my guitar in my trailer and I wrote music and I wrote a song about the film and, and we almost. Where, where's your guitar? Now? I, I know. I wish I had known. I would have brought it. Um, they they actually were considering using it uh, at some point in the film because I was it was so. I was so kind of inspired by the, the terrain and the environment and the people and the setting that uh, it kind of flowed out of me. And so the original recordings that I have of the song, you can hear the rain hitting the roof of my trailer and things like that. So it, it was good. I, I came prepared knowing that I might have some downtime. Do you still remember the, uh, the music, the oh, line? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, rec I recorded a better version once I got home just because I wanted to preserve it. Uh, I want to hear a little bit from you. Well, uh, well, it's just called Ghost Town. And it was inspired partially by one of my co-stars, Kevin Dillon. Uh, we visited the, um, the, the cemetery one of the first days we were there and kind of got a, a real vivid picture of, um, of the history of Terlingua and, and the history of the, the miners who died there from mercury poisoning, things like that. So it incorporates a lot of those elements in the song. So maybe, su maybe talk to production, they'll send you a copy of it and you can hear it. I hope you guys enjoyed the interviews, and if you want to watch all of them, all you have to do is go to fabtv.com, and I'll see you next time.